Bennett. I'm the luckiest girl in the world to be the one you love and the one you choose to spend the rest of your life with. I love that over the past six and a half years, I've never faced life's challenges without your unconditional love and support. Even on the days when I have struggled, not once did I have to walk alone. Bennett and I first met in middle school and have continued to stay close since then. We were together all the time, whether it's playing sports or even being roommates at Bowling Green. We are pretty much inseparable and still are. So just when you thought we couldn't get any closer, we decided to marry twin sisters. <laughs> I first met Bennett freshman year of college at Bowling Green. Before I knew his name, I referred to him as Matt's roommate. I saw something in Bennett from the very beginning. You are one of the most loyal, hardest working people I have ever met. You're such a hard worker. You're a great guy, so respectful. Bennett, welcome to the family. I'm so proud to have you as a son-in-law. Bennett, I promise to inspire you the way you have always inspired me, to always be your best friend, and to love you more each and every single day. With love and the promise of a lifetime together, the almost Mrs. Mackenzie Winker. Mackenzie. So when we were raising the three kids, my wife and I, Amy, you know, when they'd get in trouble, they'd have to hang out with the old man. And, you know, it was always, you know, why can't I go out? Why do I have to go to Home Depot with you? Why do I have to do this project with you? And I'd say, because you're my best friend. So over the years, um, let's just say Mackenzie may have been my best friend the majority of the time. And, you know, I just want to say, as an adult now, Sincerely, I do consider Mackenzie one of my best friends, and I love you. Dad. <laughs> oh, Mackenzie, you look beautiful. <laughs> I love you. Love you. So let's raise a glass to a long, happy, loving marriage, Mackenzie and Bennett. Welcome and thank you for being here on this most important of days. We are gathered together to celebrate the very special love between these two. Mackenzie and Bennett, this day is made possible not only because of your love for each other, but through the grace and support of your family and friends. Mackenzie and I have been best friends our entire lives. In thinking a lot about today, there are no words that I feel come close to really expressing the connection that I have with her. I can't believe you girls are all married. We are closer than close, and even though we are sisters by chance, she is my best friend by choice. To my beautiful bride, Kens, we've made it. Today is the day we have been dreaming of since you could imagine. <laughs> Today is the day I will no longer call you my girlfriend or my fiance. Today is the day I will call you my wife, my partner for the rest of our lives. <laughs> How was your morning? Good. How was yours? Good. <laughs> Carly, you look good. Thank you. You look better. I always knew you two would get married. You both put so much time and effort into this relationship. Bennett, I just want to thank you for the opportunity to stand next to you today. With all these titles, I have been given between best friend, roommate, and now best man. Being your official brother is my new favorite. Never would I have thought this beautiful girl I met in college would turn into the woman of my dreams. 
I promise to stay committed to you and our future family no matter what. And I can't wait for the next phase of life together. I love you, Bennett. The most remarkable moment in life is when you meet the person who makes you feel complete. The person to whom you share a bond so special that you cannot imagine spending another day of your life without them. Today is not only a celebration of where you are now and the road ahead, but the road that has brought you here. So wishing you both so much love and happiness. Can we please raise our glasses and toast to the new Mr. and Mrs. Wiker. Introducing to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Weikert.